Well, we finally made it downtown Vegas and to do a little filming. We've been down here a yeah. couple times, but we wanted to come do filming during the day so you guys can see what we're talking about. Yeah. And because That's Lauren is coming in a couple days, we wanted to learn how to get around first. <laughs> Yeah. So we didn't waste a bunch of time while exactly. she's here. Exactly, we don't want to waste time. So we're standing in front of the Caesars Palace right now, which is awesome, mm -hmm. huge. And we're standing right in front of Hell's Kitchen, one of our favorite shows. My heaven on earth. Yeah. <laughs> I love this place. So we're going to go around Vegas. We're going to go up and down the strip. We're going to show you a lot of cool things. And we're going to talk about a lot of cool facts about Vegas that you probably didn't know yeah. until you hear it here. You think so? Yeah. Well, there are over 1,200 fountains in Las Vegas. It's just kind of hard to believe you can put that many fountains. <laughs> well, there's underground wells and True. lakes under Vegas, True. which I didn't know until we got here. Yeah. But well, over 1,200, but this is the most famous by a lot. Yeah. And this is the, the famous fountain at the Bellagio. Yeah. Now this guy has 22 million gallons of water in it. That's a lot. Now, we might have to come back at some time to try to catch it going off. Yeah. It goes off more at night than it does during Ladies the day. Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, today's first performance of the Fountains of Bellagio will begin at 3 p.m. 3, 3 p.m. And it's... She nailed it. Uh, just past <laughs> noon right now, so we got to wait a little bit. So we'll come back for that, but we wanted to tell you some facts about it, though. Yeah. These fountains can shoot water over 460 feet high, which I can't even imagine in my head. I'm gonna have to see it in person to actually wrap my brain around that. Yeah. Um, 1,200 nozzles in there shooting water up. Yeah. 4,500 lights. Wow. Which so it's very very cool at night. Yeah. To absolutely. see, and um, it is all gray water. Uh. <laughs> so. You can't really smell it no, from here. It must be somehow filtered better than but we're thinking. You don't want to go swimming in you this. You absolutely don't want to. For a couple of reasons. <laughs> the first reason being gray water. Yeah. So you'd be like taking a dunk in people's leftover shower water. Seat water. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've ever dumped your gray water in your RV, there is a slight little smell. Yeah. And there's a little funk in there. Probably yeah. some skin cells and some other. Yeah. Left behinds. Ah. <laughs> and the second reason is if you jump in there, that is the quickest way to go to jail in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're looking for a free meal <laughs> and a free place to stay, yeah. jump in the uh, fountain here at the Bellagio <laughs> and you'll go real fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's obviously filtered because it's clear. So yeah, they nice. obviously process it somehow, <laughs> but it's just reusing of water. I ain't going in there. <laughs> well, duh. Wow. It's a lot of walking. It's a lot of walking. We've only went down one side of the strip, not even to the end yet. Yeah. And I'm tired. You're tired. We're standing in front of the New York, New York, which looks like the Empire State Building, which is very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Did you know, here comes the facts. Uh-oh, fun facts. Did you know there are over 150,000 hotel rooms in Las Vegas? That's a lot. So here's the math on that, okay? <laughs> you do math. I do math, <laughs> basic math. <laughs> if you stayed at a different hotel room every night, it yeah. would take you 288 years to stay in every room in Vegas. I won't live that long. <laughs> no. So even if you stayed here for your entire life, stayed in a different room, you wouldn't even get halfway through all the rooms in Vegas. No. Wow. That's a lot. Shoot. And the occupancy rate is over 89%. So. Close to 90% occupancy rate every okay. night. Almost 90% of all of those hotel rooms are booked. It's insane. At a rate of several hundred <laughs> dollars per night per room. There's lots of money flowing through Vegas. Oh uh, yeah. That's just hotel rooms. Uh, we haven't talked about gambling yet. Yeah. We're gonna get to that. New restaurants. And yeah. Shops. But we got ah. some more fun facts and we got some more stuff to show you. Okay. Well, there's 
the MGM, yeah. one of the most famous casinos in Vegas, yeah. and the famous lion yeah. from MGM. Now, I do have some fun facts about this guy. Hey, he's made out of bronze, and he's the largest bronze statue in the United States. Really? 50 tons. It's a lot of bronze. Of bronze. Like, if he fell over... Like, he's solid bronze. Solid. He's not hollow. No, he's solid. solid. If he fell off of there on you... That hurt. You'd be mushed. Be. Or even worse. Or even worse. <laughs> That's worse. So here's another fun fact about this guy. So not only is he the biggest bronze statue, he sits on top of this 25-foot pedestal. Okay. And then he himself is 45 feet tall. Wow. So 70 feet from the base of the pedestal all the way to the top of the lion. Okay. It's tall. That would hurt falling off of it. Are these interesting facts? <laughs> or are you just pretending like you're having fun? <laughs> She's like, oh, really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I did not know that. I'm working hard over here, man. <laughs> you're, just, you're just busting at the seams with knowledge. I'm overwhelmed. Hey, I'm impressed that I'm remembering I'm this crap. I'm impressed you're remembering A lot of things. times as I'm holding the GoPro, I have my phone yeah. that I have also in my hand uh -huh. with some notes and stuff. Yeah. I don't have that right now. This is all off the top of the noodle, man. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not impressed. I, I'm, I'm stunned. I'm paralyzed, actually. <laughs> That's why I don't know how to react. I'm like, holy crap, where's all this knowledge coming from? I have to look at it real fast, and then I have to really quick get on camera and then spit it all out. That's why I like, didn't even give her a chance to talk. So I'm like, if she talks, I'm going to forget something. It'll fall right out of your head. Huh. Somebody either won a bunch of money or lost a bunch of money, and they had a hard time. <laughs> either way, it's not good. Either way, it's not good. Well, I didn't do a lot of research on gambling facts. Slacker. Well, we're just not gamblers. We're not gamblers, no, we're not. We like our money and we like predictability. I mean, we're gonna do some. Cause yeah. you're in Vegas and you kind of have to. A Little bit, but. but not, not much cause yeah. I don't like to lose money. <laughs> and really the only thing that we do is slots. Yeah. Like penny slots. But now yeah, it's like, slots. the minimum is like 50 lines. So. <laughs> Take caution 50 cents to even play one thing. You used to back in the day, you could play like legit penny slots. Yeah. Well, Can't yeah. do it anymore. Yeah. But um, I did look up one fun fact about the slots because we do the slot thing. Yes. Yeah. And so I looked up to see who's the biggest slot winner ever. ever. Like ever. Like ever. There was a dude that came here, put a hundred dollars yeah. into a machine, into a slot machine, okay. pulled the lever and won $39 million in one pull. That is the record. No one's ever beat that. Man. The significance uh, of it from, from a location standpoint is it happened right here at the Excalibur. Do you know when this happened? I don't know. <laughs> but I, I think it's gonna be a while before anybody breaks that record. Probably. And I'm gonna venture to say it won't be us. <laughs> No, it's not going to be us. But if it is us, this will be our last video. <laughs> and we wish you all very well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're out. <laughs> Deuces. Might be out of country, like out. So right. maybe we'll have to go at least do one pull in the Excalibur just to see. Just to see. Rub it for good luck and then go inside. Spoiler alert, if you're watching this, we didn't we win. win. <laughs> well, now we're at the Luxor and I have some very cool facts about this. About illumination. <laughs> you can talk to me about illumination. Well, at night there's a huge light, a beam that shoots up out of the pyramid. Wow. Okay. Straight up into the sky. The brightest thing on the strip. It's like a Batman signal. Yeah, and the, the fun facts about it is that the cost oh, okay. to run this light. A lot? It's it's a lot. <laughs> Everything's a lot here. It's fifty-one dollars an hour. Dang. to run this light. That's steep. If you go monthly, so they're monthly Aren't they electric using bill. LED and solar. I, no, you can't shoot LED <laughs> like that. So their monthly bill, just, just for that light. Yeah. Not counting their whole electric bill. Just for that light. Okay. Fifteen thousand dollars a month to run a one light to shoot up in the in the sky. That's ridiculous. One million dollars a year. That's that's a way to shoot a light to in the shoot sky. A light. Like, we're coming back here for a show in a couple of nights because we're going to see the Blue Man Group with yeah. Lauren. 
We mentioned Lauren earlier, and if you're new to the channel, you're probably like, who the hell is Lauren? <laughs> Lauren's our daughter. She's flying in from Alabama. She's going to hang out for a couple days over Christmas. We're going to come back here at night, so we'll try to get you uh, a shot or some little bit of footage of this light that we're talking about. Million shooting up dollar into the, light. The million dollar light. <laughs> million dollars a year. That's okay. retarded. We got homeless people. We got people on welfare. We got people. We have a deficit, but we're can't get a job. Spend we're spending a million dollars a year to shoot a light in the sky. Yeah. Makes, Makes total sense. sense. That's that's <laughs> how we roll here in the great USA. Anyway, as you can see, America's Got Talent is live here in Vegas. So yeah. uh, we didn't get to go to that show, but we're gonna go to Blue Band Group and then yeah. later on in the week we're gonna go see Piff. Piff. He was on America's Got Talent. That's right. Was he a winner? He no. was a runner up. He he was in the finals. Finals. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Very funny though. Yeah, yeah, we love Piff. We won't be able to take you into any of these shows, but we're gonna enjoy them. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Otherwise known as the Strat. <laughs> Highest observation tower in the United States. Really? Sure is. Even higher than Space Needle in, in Seattle. Huh. Yep. Read it. It's got to be true. Read it online on the Google. <laughs> well, it has to be true. Google doesn't lie. 1,149 feet up. Huh. Just make it another foot taller, man. 1,150. Why would you make it 1,149 feet up? Right, you can't get anyway, <laughs> I'm almost out of I'm almost out of fun facts. Oh, are you? I got a couple more. <laughs> you got a couple up your sleeve. We didn't stop by any wedding chapels, but there's a ton. Well, who's well, to say we're not going to? Just not we could. Today. We just didn't today. Yeah. The stats on that: uh -huh. 300 on average, 300 weddings are performed in Las Vegas every single day. And how many? And 299 of them are annulled <laughs> within a week. No, it is, and, and because it's so cheap here. Most of those are not on purpose weddings. Those are drunken weddings. A marriage license in the state of Nevada is only $77, and most of these chapels charge less than $100 for the ceremony. Yeah. Bunch of extras and add-ons if you want oh, yeah. all oh, the, want the hat, the, the mouse pad, pad, and all that stuff. <laughs> it, it, it'll cost you. It'll cost you a little more, you know. <laughs> but uh, lots of weddings here. That, that's a lot of weddings. So probably an equal amount of regret here. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of poor decisions were made. Yeah, and okay, here's my last fun fact before we wrap it up. Okay. And you might not believe this. I didn't believe when I read it either, but it's on the Google, so it's got to be true. Gotta be. The Las Vegas Strip is not actually in Las Vegas. What? It's outside of the city limits. It's in Clark County, but it is not in the city limits of Las Vegas, Nevada. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're coming down to the Strip, um, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's true. But if you're on the Strip, you're not in Vegas. So it's a fair game. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, we're going to do lots more stuff in Vegas. Yes. We're going to do some some like very uh, specialized tours that's going to be their own videos. Yeah of different uh, locations and different uh, attractions that we're going to do around the area. So look for those coming up soon. Stick around for a few more seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.